Hello, this is a short video to show you how Alteryx, together with DVW Analytics Connector for SAP, can accelerate your business processes. In this example, we're going to show you how you can reconcile your vendor invoices with physical documents held in SAP. Let's start with where the information comes from in SAP. And if we look on the left hand side of this diagram, we can see that a vendor invoice has arrived. We've made postings in SAP using T code FB60 and attached that document into the object in SAP. Now traditionally to reconcile that document has been posted correctly, we would need to go into the SAP GUI, run T code FB03 like this, check the postings are correct here and compare with the attachment that we've downloaded. You can find that in the attachment list here. And if I open it, we can then say yes or no, that's okay. If you're an auditor, you know all this takes a great deal of time. So let me show you how to automate this and save hours on this process. Let me explain how this Alteryx workflow operates. Firstly, we identify the postings that we want to audit. That can be random samples, anything we wish. We then use the DVW Analytics SAP document tool to identify where attachments exist and to extract them into Alteryx. We can then use some great new tools from Alteryx which allow us to interrogate those PDF files and extract the data within them. The second stream, which is the one at the bottom, is using our SAP table tools to extract the SAP postings that have been made. And finally, we use the reconciliation tool from DVW Analytics to guess what? Reconcile both streams, the data from the tables and that which has been extracted from the PDF documents. So let's take a look at that workflow. It actually is a workflow that you can find in the Alteryx community gallery. So you can try this out for yourself. If we look at the workflow, then you'll see there are two flows, as I explained. The top flow is to extract the data from the physical document, the bottom from the postings within SAP. This table is our input. You see it's a flat file containing the records that we want to extract. But there's no reason we can't make this more dynamic, say, by creating a random list of documents using the Alteryx tools available. We use this input as a filter for our table tool, which extracts data from the table BKPF in SAP. And as you can see, it gives us our table headers. We'll pass that data along both streams. So the first stream enables us then to go find if there's a document that has been posted using another table within SAP. And we can see that two of those documents are available. The third doesn't have an attachment. And now we use a macro to iterate through each one of those documents to retrieve the physical PDF. You can see the macro here and the first step is our SAP document read tool, which does exactly what you'd expect. It reads a document that we've identified and brings it into the Alteryx workflow where we can convert it and save it as a file. These new tools here are part of the intelligence suite from Alteryx and specifically the computer vision palette and this is really quite cool because it allows us to interrogate the PDF format of our incoming invoices, define particular sections where we can extract data. So for instance, we can define this section here as being an address, so we can name it such, really easy to use. We can say it's a string or an image or a table and then save that and it will pick up from that definition those values and convert them into text for us. So we can now use them downstream in our workflow. That little macro then extracts the documents from SAP and interrogates those documents and extracts the actual values. And if I click on the line items here, you can see those coming out. It's picked those out from the two documents that were identified earlier in the workflow. You can also see the header values that have been extracted. I flagged them up and the AI has converted them into text for me. Actually, I'll only use in this example the headers, but of course you can use the line items in your flows. We pass those into a join and that's joined to the other half of the flow, which is pulling out just the SAP table postings. So we're using the table BSEG to get the values and the line items of those postings to make our reconciliation against the data extracted from the PDF files. What's also nice is you can build in checks and measures. So here I'm using texts from my vendors to confirm that the vendor that's been extracted from the PDF matches the one that's posted. And equally, I can have other files such as a flat file maybe, as we have here, which will allow us to convert other texts and perform more complete reconciliations. All of this, of course, is enabled by the power of Alteryx and the DVW tools. One final DVW tool is the reconciliation tool, which allows the two sets of data to be brought together and compared field by field. So all this being done, we can look at our results. 
Firstly, we can see the documents where the reconciliation was correct. Next, we can see where vendors have been mismatched. As you can see here, it's Munich rather than Hamburg. Finally, we use the outputs from the reconciliation tool, which give us a field by field description of where we see errors. And finally, an output which tells us where there is no attachment, so we couldn't do the reconciliation. So obviously, we could investigate that too. So that's a fully automated reconciliation between the postings in SAP and the documents that gave rise to those postings. I hope this video has been useful to you. If you'd like to see more, then please come to our website. That's dvwanalytics.com. Thank you.